yeah. week's New York's very own. An alumnus returns as we feature FDU a long jumper, Salif Manet. Last year, we highlighted Salif's fantastic junior season for the Knights, but as a senior, the jumper's career has only reached new lengths. Mm. Perry Sook Moore. From 12th to 5th. That's the impressive jump Salif Mane made from his sophomore to junior year at the Outdoor Long Jump Nationals. But for his senior year, Saul wanted more. I learned a lot last year. It was a, it was all about experience. It was a lot. Um, I, I Like I said, I had to be confident in myself. I told myself I had to win. This was my last chance to be able to be a national champ. While Salif's success had earned him offers from just about everywhere, the Bronx boy decided he wanted to finish where he started. At FDU with a coach that believed in him first, Leroy Solomon. It's been an honor to be under his wing. Um, we just have that, it's more, not less of a coach and athlete, but more of a, of uh, two, two, two people putting their minds together to get the, get the best out of me. You have to trust your coach. And if you're lucky and you get a coach that's pretty good, then, you know, it's all, it's all great, you're happy. You know, so he trusts everything that I say and he's been improving like every year. Together, the two developed a plan specifically for Saul to have his best jump when it mattered the most. We knew what most everyone didn't know. The whole year he wasn't jumping from his full approach. The key was to get to that point and then let the hole run out. And I crossed my fingers, like, if we do it, because that was the first time we were doing it this year, I said, if he hit it right, he's going big, he's going 17 meters. The plan paid off, as Salif had his career best jump at this year's national championships, long enough to secure him the title. But here today, he is an NCAA champion, guys. It means a lot, actually. Um, this school has done a lot for me, and they still do a lot for me now. And it's been grateful. It's been it's been an honor to give them that national title. It just sets the precedent that at FDU, like you can compete at the highest levels. Like you don't necessarily need to go to the biggest branded schools with all of the you know bells and whistles. Like we have what we need here to compete at the highest level. While it's hard to top winning a national title in your senior season, there's one more thing Salif would like to accomplish as a member of FDU track and field. Right now, the jumper is in Eugene, Oregon, at the Olympic qualifiers, and is just one jump away from a trip to Paris. While there is certainly an expectation that he could make the team, right now, Salif is just happy to be representing FDU one more time. Going through my head is just having fun, enjoying the moment. This is an opportunity every four years, um, but I, I'm also going out there to compete. It'll be an honor also to wear an FDU jersey and make the Olympic team because, you know, like I said, they've done a lot for me. And to be able to have FDU across my chest, knowing that I'm going to Paris means a lot. From FDU to the world.